Hi, welcome everyone. In the previous video, uh, previously we discussed uh, when and what is the purpose of taking a natural log to the various various variables that you use in the regression analysis. And I discussed when to take a log for the dependent variable and when to take log for independent variable if you are selective in taking in log and then what are the statistical reasons to take a log and then why, why what is the mathematical reason so you can you can have a look at that video in the and the link shown above or in the uh, description so in this video i am going to talk about uh, what is the limitation of taking a log and if there is a necessary if you want to take a log what are the few ways that you can use so be with me and we will try to cover it up in a, in a short video and we will learn how to take solve this problem so one of the limitation of log is log cannot be applied to data which can be theoretically negative so if your data like it's net fbi or net exports uh, or, or any variable or, or net profit that can be theoretically negative it means even if you don't data do not have any negative value if you need to make a model from it and if there is any future value that is negative the model will give an error so you should should avoid uh, taking a log with theoretical negative or even zero there is the, if you apply log on zero there is no answer so zero or negative values you cannot take log so let's suppose your model says that you have to take a log but the problem is the data has negative or zero values so there are two ways that people use first method is uh, to to remove the negative signs take logs and place the negative signs again to the exact uh, exact data value where the negative sign was there so the problem with this approach is that if data is too big it will take too much time to solve this problem and uh, to find the values where the negative is and then you take log and then do uh, add the sign in so data is too big it is it will not work or if future value is negative you have to clarify that this model if you have the future negative value you have to remove the sign and then take a log and then apply it again so it will become a, a, a tedious process if all of your variables could have negative values second method uh, that people use is that um, they have a look what is the minimum value in the data uh, and then add minimum plus one in in all observations so that so that the data is shifted from the minimum value to one and it will start from one and then take the log so advantage of this method is that it is easy to calculate and if it is a panel data you have to do it cross section wise you can do a loop or make a filter and do it for every cross section um, this way you can solve and other way is that uh, you can you can still uh, calculate elasticities without taking log that is that you, you use the data as it is then calculate the percentage change uh, in, the, in the data and then multiply it with the slope value and it will still give you the elasticities uh, so these are few discussions that that i shared in this video and these are the common questions that people ask uh, about that uh, i need to take a log but my data has mostly negative values if i take a log most of the data is deleted because the negative values will give math error in the, the software and it will remove that row and data will be reduced so so you can only apply log if data is strictly positive values 
not even zero and then the data is free of any problems that can come because of a natural uh, because of taking a log okay so these are the few few uh, limitations and few solutions that i discussed thank you very much for watching do subscribe and let me know if you have any other suggestions or any other problems that you think there is while using a log